So then I think we have lethal. <laughs> All right. I don't fucking know. Let's just do it. <laughs> we'll fucking slam it. I don't know. I, what is math anyways? Okay, we ball. Well, we're gonna find out. Ground and find out. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that did the trick. I don't know. What's up and welcome everybody to a new Murders at Carl of Manor standard video. And in this video, it's time to look back at my favorite combo deck to come out of Ixalan, Bloodletter Combo. So this is the uh, the MVP of the deck, Bloodletter of Exosauts. 4 mana, 2, 4 Vampire Demon that if an opponent would lose life during your turn, they lose twice that much life instead. So, but this card also stacks. If I have one Bloodletter on the board, it's double the damage. If I have two Bloodletters on the board, it's four times the damage. You can do that by, you know, hard casting a second copy, but you can also go around it with the Mind Link Mac, a 3 mana 4 3 artifact vehicle that when it becomes crewed for the first time each turn until end of turn, the mech becomes a copy of target non legendary creature that crewed it this turn, except it's a 4 3 uh, and a vehicle artifact in addition to its other types, and it has flying and it's got the crew 1. So you could get two blood letters on the board as fast as turn 4 if you manage to cast a Mind Link Mac on turn 3. And then play the blood of Eclazots on turn four. You then crew with the Eclazots, and all of a sudden the Mind Link transforms into the Eclazots, and you have two in play. And you'll do a lot of damage. And this could even be lethal damage, depending on if you have more creatures on the board. <laughs> um, this deck really just gets lethal out of nowhere, and it's so much fun and so strong too. You'll see it in the gameplay. But we have some other cards in here because we uh, have upgraded this with a few cards from Murders at Carl of Manor. We're playing a copy of Lazav where a faces that can transform or turn into a copy of a creature card exiled with until end of turn. Um, and once you sacrifice a clue and Lazav gives us some resilience, like if people are removing our blood letter of Eclazots, we can exile out of our own graveyard and have Lazav turn into it. I'm also playing some Cryptic Coats because I really like the Cryptic Coat being able to deal three damage to the face, which is very powerful with the blood letters, especially if they get like double the damage or four times the damage but also like that the cryptic code could transform or i guess disguise into a blood letter if you manage to um uh, cloak it from the top of your library but i also like the cryptic code because i'm still playing a few copies of invasion of a moncath in this deck and the cryptic code like being not blockable has a higher chance of flipping the invasion for you like i could just swing at it with a cryptic code and like a flyer and i will be able to flip it and the invasion has been okay, but I had to like, initially I was playing three, but I went down to two because there were sometimes positions where they really just didn't feel that good. But I am a huge fan of Cryptic Coat, and I think the card is a, is incredible in basically any blue deck. So uh, we're, we're playing a few Cryptic Coats in here as well. Outside of that, we have the Preachers of the Schism uh, to help us draw cards, which is always very nice, especially when we're looking to find our combo pieces. And also really like the synergy of the Preacher of the Schism with the Mind Link Mech. Because you could just turn the Mech into a Preacher and still get that like ability, triggered ability upon attacking. Which hopefully draws us a card and if not creates us a vampire, which is great. I also love the Mind Link Mech synergy with the Deep Cavern Bat. Because if I play Bat on 2 and I play Mind Link Mech on 3, especially when you're up against like aggro decks, you can turn the Mind Link Mech into a 4-3 flyer with lifelink if you crew from the Bat, which is just very nice same stuff works with fairy mastermind by the way so if we have a fairy mastermind in play we could crew it with the mind link mech have the mind link mech become a fairy mastermind and then if your opponent draws a card or you do that in response to your opponent drawing a card you'll draw two cards instead so the mind link mech is just such an incredibly like flexible creature or creature vehicle i'm i'm just such a huge fan of it and i i truly think that Demir midrange decks should find a way to incorporate this thing because it's really really powerful speaking of powerful in Demir midrange is this deck stronger than your regular Demir midrange deck i don't know the thing is if you manage to find the blood letter mind link mech combo side of the deck i feel like it could absolutely be stronger than the current Demir midrange deck that is like the stock version that you see everyone play However, the downside is if you cannot find these combo pieces fast enough or like you, you know, they get interactive with or whatever, you are playing a worse version of Stock Demir midrange, right? 
because you have to like give in somewhere to make room for the mind link max and the blood letters and that is some power that you'll you'll lack like we're not playing shoulders we're not playing like aclazots and we could if you wanted to but then yeah you have to give somewhere right like we still want to have a curve we still want to have some removal spells we still want to have some card draw so yeah if you manage to hit the combo side of the deck incredible but if you manage to not do that you're just playing a slightly worse version of the mirror mid range so that's the risk that you take playing this deck but i enjoy playing this so much and the combo is incredibly fun so to me it's absolutely worth playing i still had a fantastic win rate with this deck i think it got me to platinum one when i played i started in platinum three something like that so i still really enjoy it let's get into some gameplay but before we get started don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps the channel out and uh you know your support's always appreciated so without further ado let's get into it this video is brought to you by ultimate guard ultimate guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards ranging from sleeves deck boxes play mats binders and more ultimate guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe secure and stylish Support the channel and yourself by purchasing your Ultimate Guard products using the link in the description. I'm not keeping a one liner Chief. I mean, could be alright. Keeping my lands. No one can replace Shelly. <laughs> yeah. You just remembered Erin Jada. Erin Jada is one of my favorite cards. I have a I have a couple like tempo decks with Aaron and Jada slaps every time. <sighs> okay, world priest, we don't like you. Yeah, there's some really cool blue eye flash decks around in standard right now. I mean, am I okay with the trade? Probably. Probably, I fear. Blue flash craps and control so hard. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> you fuck him up. World Priest always has had like dark sided energy to it, you know. Always. Card has always done uh, too many, one too many like unfair things, I feel. Okay. Are you gonna like answer it or no? I'm getting marched. Like I'd be okay with removing that, but also mm, I might get feature over cryptic code. However, cryptic code's got the ward cost on it. So that makes it a little bit of a better, like, defender. I think I'll do Cryptico instead. Like, the War 2 seems pretty tricky for them. I hope. Yeah. We do like to see that. Like, I, I love Preacher, but I think uh, we make the right choice like this. I'm going in, man. I'm going in. <laughs> I'm going in, for real. Uh... Yeah, I'm going in. Let's go! <laughs> God, that looks so pretty. Look at the blood letter. How gorgeous. Wow. That was a good purchase. Creature in a coat. Oh shit. Ooh. The way they lost all their life. It's glorious. We love to see it. That's just so pretty. Like, what's it? It's got no rights. All right. Blood letter clutches it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That felt good. That felt really nice. <laughs> you can technically, like, it's not the craziest investment to. Or like not the craziest prediction to think that blood letters might ri might rise and 
price because to keep two piece combo no matter what your opponent's life total at is fucking crazy. Um Like, I really like the idea of the Nightclubber, but this is too awkward, I think. I, I feel like I got a mullet. What the hell is this? I mean, at least there's a blood letter in there, I guess. So we'll have to vibe. Just one time. Don't have a one drop, please. I'm a star. Oh my god, double, like, double blood leather, though? Like, I'm vibing. I think I'll just triumph the Skrelf here. The Surveil lands. Are we just gonna, like, get, like, countered into Oblivion or something? Mm. Really need you to like go to two power, please. I'll keep that. Probably. Yeah. Just slam and swing. Probably. Probably. We I think I think your best bet sometimes is just like to race poison, but I don't know if we can. They probably still have a lot of like interaction and stuff. Like expensive cards tend to be pretty bad against them because they just bounce your shit, right? Like that's that's the worst thing. Like I don't know, maybe I should have multi five. I think I should have. I really, I really think I should have mulled the five. Shit. This is actually like a counter spell that they're considering. Oh, shit, that's really bad. It's not what we wanted to hit. Damn. I think I got the wrong hand. Anyways, one nightclub off the top. We might be okay. Might be okay. Not no pun intended. I don't know. I fear to march. Oh lord. Oh brother. No. Six poison. Another land. The 22 land curse is striking us again. <laughs> 22 lands, the ultimate cheat code. Mm, don't do it. Don't bounce it. Don't you dare. Or like they might march it and we're also dead. I don't know. Like, what's the last card? I feel like it's gonna be like an obvious win and for some reason it's gonna like take them like 30 minutes to figure out whether or not this last card actually wins them the game. I don't know. Yo, thanks, Gas. Appreciate that. Ah, shit. Okay, so at least Rule Priest is gone. Problem is, I'm at 8 poison. <laughs> I don't vibe with that, man. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Um... Alright, so double blood letter is good. I don't have an attack here, though. Like, maybe... 
restless reef with two blood letters can like kill them i don't know like that would be four yeah that might do the trick i don't know i gotta obviously like avoid getting clapped by a <laughs> proliferation or something right now I'm scared. I'm scared. They're 28. Okay, so... Shit. Um, does Restless Reef win? I don't think so. These go for like 6 each, so that's combined 12. This is uh also 12, so that's 24. Is it not? Is my math wrong? Siren pump one time, would that change something? Nine plus six. Fifteen. Eight each. Oh, no, wait, is it eight each? No, yeah, it's eight each. Wait, that, then it's lethal. I think. They don't go for six, they go for eight, right? Two, four. Four to eight. So then I think we have lethal. <laughs> All right. I don't fucking know. Let's just do it. <laughs> we'll fucking slam it. I don't know. I, what is math anyways? Let's just, I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Well, we're going to find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I did the trick. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Looks pretty good. Even though the reefs are a little awkward. Okay. Domain. Dun dun dun. Have you played April's Fools yet? I haven't. Deck is straight fire. <laughs> Deck is straight fire. I'll start off at Schooner. Like, we need the pressure, and then we'll do that. Any spicy cowboy set brews in mind? Yup, I have a lot of ideas. Like I said, I keep pointing out to it, but you see that gorgeous sub goal top right? I have, like, I could literally fill up those 12, 12 hours of early access with a new brew every hour, and I would be, I'd be thriving. So, uh, if you're looking forward to just exploring everything that Thunder Junction has to offer, I got you. Is it Archangel? Probably. Early access is happening. Okay, so we're getting a lot of room curve. That can be interesting. Okay. Put a possum sleeve. <laughs> Mm. Ooh, that's a mind link Mac. How much am I swinging in for now? This goes for six. I'm oh god. Uh, wait. Mm. No, I, I got a blood letter. Uh, nah. Five. <laughs> I don't know. It's something along those lines. So they're going to try to hold up white so they can cast Leyline. God, I hope they fail. <laughs> Blessed RNG. Save us. Hey, yo, Courier with the five gifties. Hey, yo. Okay, okay, hold on. Can we get some spins in the chat for that? What a bestie trying to make moves towards the sub goal. Let's get some spins up in here. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. 
Thank you, thank you. Hopefully, as we even, like, win here. So, uh... Hold on now. You want to see some progress with the Cowboy decks? Hell yeah! Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Sure. <laughs> sure. We'll make it work. We got two bats. We got a cryptic coat. And you know what? We don't have one landers, so that's great. The bar is low. Sometimes. I also think, like, Lissaf's, um flu tokens could really help, so... High train success. Let's go, besties. Thank you so much for the for the sub bomb out of nowhere. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting uh, closer to our sub goal. I mean, we still have some time, but um, that was very sweet. Thank you all, everybody, for participating and stuff. You guys are besties. Tuk tuk. Yeah, we're finding ways to make Skeletina stronger. That could also work. Okay, at least we're getting Blood Letter on Curve. That's good. Yeah, I'll grab Beans. Oh, wow. They kept kind of a risky hand. It's just literally, they kept like six lands technically and one Beans. Yeah, if you get the Hype Train notification in Dutch, it says Chook Chook. <laughs> Lacrosse on Twitch. Thanks for Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'm going to set up Coat. We're going to vibe. An angel. Yeah. <laughs> the angel red. Oh my god, an angel. Oh, topiary. I mean, it's technically just another land for them, so... I'm gonna slam that Eclazots so fast. They say, like, technically, you're, when you say choo-choo, in Dutch choo-choo like this, at least that's what, like, kids are being taught. It's weird. I don't know either. <laughs> That's how you write it, though. What's under the coat? Uh, Takanuma. Chook chook. Yeah, it, it's the same as choo choo, but for some reason it's like the Dutch pronunciation wants to make it with a K behind it. Chook. I don't know. No surprise, Eclesauce. That would have gone so hard. weird <laughs> yeah oh <gasps> yo <laughs> wait now hold on wait now hold on now wait 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 now hold on wait wait what what's the last card oh my god wait 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 is this lethal Hold on. And now we need to do math again. So that's like times four. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, yo. So gas. What the hell? Hey, yo. I hate that they don't copy the style, but that's all right. Yo. <laughs> It's just fucking crazy. Like, it's just crazy. Oh, wow. Them playing spell pierce is crazy, but I respect it. But still, it's crazy. All right, let's zoom back. It's it's crazy though. Um, okay, it's gonna hold back here because I could crew the back and be chilling. I respect it, but it's weird. Um, yes. <laughs> Apparently, that's the plan. 
It's not bad. I guess they want to like stop my removal and like they know I have some like vehicles and stuff. So it's not horrible. I don't I don't think it's a bad inclusion, but I don't know how much it does for that deck. That uh top deck play with fire. We really can't win. Nah, because then they bolt it. They bolt my Mac. I don't want that. Dude, like, this is just ridiculous. Please give me a land. Be nice. Well, this is an Eclazot's opportunity, but I think I'm supposed to just, like, try to win the game. Hmm. Ruid gets lifelink. They have obliterating bolt though. Hello? <laughs> Did you guys miss that? Are you guys like good? <laughs> like I'll crew it now, of course, but like I cannot uh not lose my like mech to bolt like that when I have another like bat in my hand. Damn, they just still picked another spell spear. This opponent's got like final boss vibes. Scared. Spooked. Mm. Everything is painful. If only I could just get myself a nice little Echo's Alt so well. then the mirrorxes i think this matchup is almost convincing me to just like kick the mirrorxes from the deck like are they really adding that much value instead of like screwing us over i think we should kick the mirrorxes i would much rather replace mirax for a cavern at that point like if you're not giving me a cooler anyways i might as well fucking play cavern and like put it on vampire or whatever right like at that point Mm. Okay, that's fine. Mirax occurs. I mean, in a deck like this, where we have like a triple black creature, it's, it's been disappointing me one too many times. <laughs> Like, you're disappointing the homies, Smirax. Like, don't do that. Don't disappoint the homies. I think this wins, though. But this is why we're playing um, so many games with the deck, because this is how we get better. This is how we, like, fix it. Easy. We'll fix it. We'll take it. Well, we'll have to take the Mirax's out, and then... Um, that's all right, like... I like the Mirexes for like crewing the boats and stuff, but. Mm, all right. Well, I will be keeping it, I guess. Oh, the opponent's mulling deep. AO. Yeah, I know it's true. All Gandalfs all night long. Yeah. <laughs> The second you do that, it's over. Nah, you're so right. You're so right. Okay. I don't know why it gets a different art. I'm not really sure. Like, I paid good money, uh... Hmm... Feels like a decent opportunity to get rid of the codebreaker here. 
Okay. That did the trick. <laughs> they just they just went the one creature. All right, sure, sure. Just always feels bad, no matter how you see it. Unless you kept like five lands and you flood, and it's like you know. Okay. It really is. Just feels like what could I have done here? Like suffer, <laughs> suffer. Just meant to not stand a chance. Yeah. It's rough. All right, I'm going to try Siren. There we go. Great, a revealed counterspell. Oh, well, I still keep it. Puts pressure on them, makes them sweat a little bit. What if it's like the casino? That's why I'm always paranoid in this game. Well, the casino makes money. They don't really make money if you lose a game. <laughs> At the end of the day, someone still wins. Like, that's... If you're, like, concerned that it could be rigged. This is gonna be, like, a lockdown or something. The instant speed board wipe. <laughs> at least that instant speed board wipe destroys things, you know? Look at how fucking scared they are. They don't want to get hit by the spell peers. Crazy. Let's play green and hope for expensive flip decks. I mean, it's a strategy for sure. Hmm. I mean, there's a lot of value in instant speed. Uh -huh. Well, it depends because like your opponent could like fully like overcommit or something, right? Like you see it in vamp with Vampire Vengeance sometimes. No, it's true. I, I agree. I'm a true, um, I'm a true wrath hater. I really am. Something about them just feels cheap as fuck. That's the part I don't like. Mm, actually, I'm just gonna pass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. A, a lot of these, like, something about control spells that are, like, win cons by themselves are just toxic beyond. I hate them. Like, you shouldn't get a benefit because you wiped, like, you, you reset the whole game. Like, that's the benefit already. You shouldn't be able to get, like, a win con out of it, too. Same stuff with, like, why, um... Elrond's epiphany was broken beyond like you're already getting an extra turn you don't need to have tokens on top of it <laughs> it's like rats should be in the game for sure but I just don't think they should have win conditions like onto them it's my problem Sure. Mm, I could try to counter that. It's not an emperor, but if they play emperor, I guess they could pay for the peers. Kind of rough. Sure. Yeah, like depop and stuff is like fine, but yeah. Then again, I'm also not a control player, but. 
you know i feel like i mean blue eye control in standard wasn't really anything for like a long time only with murders at carl of manor did it finally become like playable again you know so then again sunfall has always been like toxic to index like domain and all that shit but Just slam that Emperor and let's be done with it. Stupid. I meant that with every little bit of hate I had in my body. Please, just let's keep something on top. No. Four, five. Damn it. That's our chance. It's gone now. <sighs> Fucking stupid. Yeah, I mean, for a while, it's just not okay, period. <laughs> you know, it's just not. All right, I'll try Tishana. You could counter it, I guess, but then you'll still lose to Tishana. So, there we go. The fairy tucking is still something that keeps me up at night. The art basics of Saturday from there are the Murders of Carl of Manor basics pretty cool are these wait but that's these are different hold on these are the watercolored ones i was confused because normally i have the mkm basics but yeah these are watercolored they were secret layer do i try a bat batsy i'll try batsy That's fine. See what I can do. I'll play Malcolm. The other tapped out. Opponents got like the classic boring control package, like the, the, the stupid like blue sleeves that they always like nut over. <laughs> I can't. Split control players from miles away. Every time, like it's always this, and then like so either a blue or a white planeswalker. Oh, I guess Murex is a win con, huh? I'm gonna try Kaito. Jace with no sleeves, yeah. They're like at the level up of that. Yeah, I, uh, I think I'm gonna keep Kaito around. So I think they have a white march or something. There we go. I run for all I can run Sunfall. Well, you saw that like previous game, right? It's not like it's not one or the other. They run both. <laughs> they run both. So. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. All right, I'm just going to chill and draw my cards, man. I'm going to vibe. Um, I'm going to make sure that I tap this right. You won't get me, bestie. You won't get me. I have the power of spell pierces, negates, and anime on my side. Planeswalker Wrath, we have that. You have the Eternal Emperor. <laughs> we have that, we have that. Do 
It's fine. Roll to a wrath, killing your indestructible creature. Wait, what? Oh, against planeswalkers on them. Yeah. <laughs> Wrath against planeswalkers. Be a little diff. Gix. I think it just stays the mind link mech right now. There we go. Just want to make sure. 152 more days. Like I said, I will be throwing a party. You got you got an RSVP, but I will be throwing a party to celebrate Rafine and Hag leaving. It will be a glorious day. <laughs> Live on Twitch. Live on Twitch. Hag goes away party. <laughs> and Rafine. And we'll rotate, yeah. I'll be like, that will be like the sad bridge. Anyway, it's easy game. We drew really good there. The counter spells were incredible. Mm -hmm.